Kai Stepper is the vice president in charge of automated driving for the regional business unit at Bosch here at the management briefing seminars. And Kai, you were telling me that one of the things that we've got to get to as an industry for automated vehicles is not just the technical, but also the human and psychological side. Explain what that's all about. That's absolutely correct. Uh, what we need to solve is also non-technical aspects, in particular the consumer awareness and consumer acceptance of the technology. Bosch has recently conducted a survey amongst 1,000 new car buyers to look at if they're excited about the technology and what do they know about it. So the great news is that new car buyers are extremely bullish about it. They think 52% responded that they're going to own an automated vehicles within the next 10 years. And even some of these said they're going to even own more than one automated vehicles within the next 10 years. So that's really good to hear. What is on the other side interesting is to say what do they know what's on the road today? They Consumers really believe that features like driver assistance are really attached to autonomous driving when the fact is that some of these features are already here today on the roads. For example, safety features like automated emergency braking. Yeah, very interesting. Was this a, a survey done globally in the U.S. or where? We did the survey particularly here in the U.S. amongst new car buyers who purchased the vehicles within the recent months. I like what you're saying because there's been other surveys out there that say people are afraid of this technology, they're very concerned about it. You seem to have found a different viewpoint. So we looked at that question particularly as well. What are some of the concerns that consumers feel? And we didn't give a particular order, but what most of the respondents came back to that they're concerned about the lack of control and the ability to take over in case there's a safety critical situation. So about 47% of the surveyed uh, participants came back and says, well, we're still concerned about safety and we still are concerned about not being able to control the vehicle. So there's quite a bit still to do in terms of consumer education, consumer awareness of the safety benefits of automated driving. There's uh, all kinds of talk in the automotive industry, of course, of companies like yours and automakers complaining they cannot get the talent that they need. The talent issue's got to be big on your list. Absolutely. It's really right up there on the top of the list to bring the required talent into the organization and not just from college degree education. Of course, everybody thinks about robotics and artificial intelligence, but also on community college education. Bring the technicians into our organization to build the vehicles and be able to write software, for example, on the instrumentation and on the sensor systems that we have in the vehicle. So Bosch has been very active on that aspect as well in terms of partnering with local community colleges right here in Michigan to deploy a pilot program to have technicians intern and educate the workforce. So we're really excited about this. The other aspect about talent is it's not just your electrical and mechanical engineers that we need and of course we still need them but now we need folks for example with a background in psychology who would have thought that we need in such an engineering discipline psychologists but they're very instrumental for things like the human machine interaction give us a little bit more example of that because i find that fascinating that you're hiring psychologists <laughs> to develop autonomous cars yeah i find it fascinating as well when i started my career in the automotive i would have never thought i would have psychologists on my staff but now i do and it's really all about how to efficiently interact between the machine and the human being because what we're talking about is a transition of control between the vehicle and the human being itself and that can be going on in the course of a drive a couple different times as we begin to roll out automated technology it certainly will be limited in the beginning to certain traffic scenarios or certain um, traffic in uh, urban areas and we need to re-engage the human being at some point. So how do you efficiently do that? What is the uh, adequate cockpit design? What are the adequate transfer times to give the human being a warning and a heads up, hey, I'm going, going, going to need you to take over in a certain period amount of time. That's one thing that I love about the automotive industry. It's not just all about engineers or finance people and the like, we even need psychologists for this new technology. That is correct, John, absolutely. Kai Stepper, thanks so much for your time this morning. Very yeah. interesting discussion of what Bosch is doing with autonomous vehicles. Thank you very much, John, pleasure.
Major trends are reshaping the automotive industry and accelerating the technology's revolution. The Foresian community is ready to inspire the future. Foresia is inspiring mobility.